Hi everyone, I am Maria, welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about working as a marine biologist in a landlocked country. For those of you who don't know, I am currently doing my PhD in marine microbiology in Austria. And Austria is a landlocked country. Now what is a landlocked country? It's nothing more than a land that is not bordered by the sea in any of its borders. So. Whenever I tell someone here that I am working in marine biology or anything related to the sea or the ocean, people always look at me like, how is that possible? Um, there is no sea here. That's what I will be talking to you about today. The reason for why I don't need to be always in direct contact with the ocean to do my research is because I can collect samples and do field work and then bring the rest of the work to the lab or to the office. Time that we actually spend at the sea is only a small amount of the work we have to do as scientists. If, usually if you have to conduct some kind of experiments or you need to collect samples, you can organize yourself so that you, for a certain period of time during the year, go to somewhere where there is an ocean to do whatever it is that you need to do. So in my specific case, um, I, need, I needed during my PhD to do experiments on the sea and I also needed to collect samples from different parts around the world. I would go around between one to two weeks to the north of Croatia to conduct my experiments. Usually, so I would plan my research in order to be able to do so. As for the second part in which I, would ha in which I had to collect samples from well, the middle of the ocean, I had to go on research expeditions. And for this, it doesn't really matter where you are based or where your headquarters are, because you will have to, well, go on a ship anyways, far away from any land. So you actually just need the money to be able to, well, first of all, go to the port wherever the ship is departing from and, be, and have the money to pay for going on the ship. And this is in no way related to the geographic location of your research, of the headquarters of your research group. In my lab, most of the people work with deep sea marine microbiology, which means anything at all microbiology that goes somewhere below 1000 meters. And this is usually not a depth that you can find just with a small boat going from the coast from somewhere. The people in my lab who work with this kind of environment will always need to go far away into the middle of the ocean in order to do their experiments and collect samples. Of course you will have an advantage if your lab is just right next to the ocean since you can do long-term experiments for instance where you can every day monitor something uh, provided that you work in coastal systems because if you work with anything that is not coastal it will not matter because you will have to go to the high seas anyway. But of course if you work with coastal systems having a lab that is close to the coast will <laughs> be highly beneficial. However, if you do not have access to the sea, but you have money, you will be able to, well, again, go on these field trips where you can then do your experiments and your field work. And, and this will depend highly on how much money is allocated to science in a certain country and how much money your department or research group has. I hope this clarified that for you. I cannot, tell you how many times I have been asked this question since I've moved to Austria, especially when I say that I come from Portugal, which is a country with a lot of coast. This was it. Thank you very much for watching. Like if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more marine related content. And I hope to see you in the next video.